Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another home video tour. This is Jack Graham, Realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you today the Shelby floor plan. With uh, 4,820 square feet, we have a house with a starting price of $850,000, a beautiful five bedroom home, up to six bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, up to four and a half bathrooms, three story house with a three car garage, beautiful balcony up front, and also in the back. Now, uh, we are located down in the Southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. To be specific, we are at Hayford, which is a community built by Pulte Homes. This is, um, this community is about 10 to 15 minutes away from Strip, uh, you know, airports, anything you need out here in the Southwest of Las Vegas Valley. A uh, beautiful neighborhood. We have a pretty enticing price here with $850,000 for this house. Considering all the upgrades that this house, um, you know, all the incentives that they're offering right now. Currently they're doing 15,000 towards anything, a base price or whatever you want to uh, put it towards extra twenty thousand dollars off of all your design center options in addition to other incentives such as uh, you know mortgage rate buy down or in clo closing cost incentives and all that which uh, makes this deal pretty pretty nice after you consider you know these homes have been going for over a million about a year or two ago so now we're probably looking at this house out the door price you could probably be at around nine hundred thousand total but i would consider this one probably be around 950 total uh, just to be safe uh, but we'll talk about some upgrades uh, as we go through the house all right downstairs we have a beautiful open floor plan uh, with uh, your uh, game room and you know extra uh, flex room and upstairs this is a huge living space and uh, that's where you have all the kitchen and all that good stuff upstairs on the third floor we have your uh, four bedrooms and uh, you can also have on top on the last floor, your uh, rooftop deck. Rooftop deck is actually included in this neighborhood and it's a really, really nice option. So we'll start from the bottom and make our way up there. Now, uh, rooftop deck will give you 360 views of pretty much the whole city of Las Vegas, including mountain strip views and everything you need, which is nice for entertainment, I would say. You have your bar option downstairs. This bar option costs around $8,000 to give you the, the KitchenAid refrigerator, wine cooler, whatever it is, sink, and also all your cabinet and countertops. Huge open space right here. Now, in this one, uh, you also have uh, plenty of room here for your uh, game room. And then uh, downstairs, we have your access from your garage right there. We have eight foot ceilings here in this model uh, as far as what's included. And you cannot upgrade these ones because the houses are already three stories and have a limit on how high they can go. Um, so you can't go with the nine foot ceilings, even if you wanted to. But eight foot ceilings are pretty nice for the first floor. Second floor is going to have the nine and then the third one is going to have the eight foot ceilings. Beautiful backyard. I mean, this is about a 55 feet wide backyard. We have uh, these lots are about 5,500 square feet. You got a good size backyard in this one, especially this um, three story right here gets a little bit more uh, backyard. As you can see right here, it's about a 40 foot um, you know, backyard from the house to the back wall. Now you do have a retaining wall right here, which is something that you can do depending on the lot. Some lots don't have a retaining wall. It just depends how you're situated as far as elevation from the neighbor behind you. Beautiful balcony in the back. That's already included in the base price. And uh, downstairs, it comes already with a bedroom downstairs. Let's go check it out. So you have your, um, what's it called? You have some extra storage down here. Look at that. That's a lot of storage space underneath these stairs. Then you have your garage on this side, three car garage right now. Actually, I'm going to show you here a little bit of quality and what they deliver as far as product here. It's a really high quality uh, builder, probably my favorite here in town um, that I personally like. I love the materials that they use here as far as water, um, water protection for your showers. Uh, they have this, uh, this Schluter system right here. 
and uh, it, it's different from the other ones. It's it's a little bit higher quality versus just paint on the on the on the walls that they put in there, you know, on the you know concrete drywall that they put in. Um, and then you have right here some uh, it's sorry some uh, uh, wind protection here as well as water protection for your house. They use tie part paper here, which is uh, something that they use on the east coast, but they um, they use it over here as well, even though we don't have as much rain, which protects your windows from water intrusion as well. Then you have also blown in insulation um, pretty much throughout all your walls right here and also your attic, which is amazing, which gives you uh, really good uh, insulation inside the house. And um, compared to, for example, the bats that you see right here, where you have, you know, exposed uh, stuff throughout the house, you know. Um, so it doesn't give you as much of uh, energy efficiency with these ones compared to the blown -in insulation. It just sounds more, uh, it's just a better product. That would be your third car garage, by the way. Then you have your soft water loop and all that good stuff. And then on this side, we have, um, sorry, that one is not like, that's just like that. That would be your, your entrance, sorry. On this side, we will have the third car garage. Right now they have it as an office, but they just built out here. This would be a third car garage. Okay, and then tankless water heater is included and also soft water loop. Now also you get in this model your HVAC system which is Lennox. Lennox is actually a really good uh, company and uh, they, they have a really good high quality product and I think this is a great unit. Now going back in we have some storage over here to the left and also coat closet. We go down here, you have actually your filters, uh, you know, where you change your filters for the house. Downstairs, that will be your return. Um, now, this will be the entrance to this, uh, this suite downstairs. As you can see, we have a huge king size bed in here. Look how spacious this is. So we're looking around about 16 on that wall by approximately 20 on this wall. And uh, if with ceilings, we have a walk-in closet over on this side. So we have one and two closets downstairs. This is a spacious one too. One and two closets that we just saw. And then this will be your bathroom downstairs with, if you want to add it, because it comes with the fiberglass tub and shower combo. But if you want to add this extra um, shower with a zero threshold, it's about $5,000. That does not include the tile options, which is another upgrade in this one. So this option about seven to eight total and then you have this uh future of course it's a slight upgrade for their bathrooms like a few hundred dollars and then they have this uh cabinet which throughout the house it costs you around three to four thousand dollars now got a lot of windows here downstairs letting have plenty of light which is nice this uh bar area is awesome too if you want to treat this kind of like a next gen area where you have the downstairs you have a family living downstairs and one upstairs uh, then this would be a great option because then you have a full bar. Uh, you know, you have all your drinks and all that stuff in here. On the second floor, we do have uh, an upgraded stairwell, by the way. This one for the whole house is going to cost you around $8,000 since we do have a lot of stairs in here and a lot of stairwells. But and, and on top of that, this is one of the most expensive upgrades. As you walk up, you have a nice uh, open floor plan. And uh, they did a great job at updating this floor plan because before they had this weird thing in the middle, like a fireplace in the middle, kind of separated everything. But this one is awesome because it has, wow, look at that kitchen right there. Gourmet kitchen, huge kitchen aid, pushing stove with the six burners, huge pantry, by the way. Show you the pantry real quick. Kitchen item with the waterfall countertops huge dining room, then your living room, since one wasn't enough, uh, one side with the couch, you know, facing one side to the TV wasn't enough. They had another one on this side. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And then you have right here, this is perfect for entertainment. You have a balcony up front and then a balcony also in the back, which really allows you to get a lot of windows, a lot of, um, you know, window space to allow a lot of light to come in. That's another great option for this floor plan. As we go outside. All right. Let's see the first balcony up here. Now we do have a 
good sized balcony, but you know, they have, uh, this, I think this is a great option to add pretty much to any house, but I love that they do have it included in this floor plan. Nice. Fireplace is an extra addition. Now this kitchen right here has quite some upgrades in it. Refrigerator by itself is 12 grand. This appliance package is another 8,000, not even more, about $10,000 for the hood, the push-in stove, and the microwave, and the dishwasher KitchenAid. As far as the countertops, you're looking at about $8,000 for a beautiful quartz like this one. And on top of that, you have another $4,000 for your waterfall finish. Undermount sink is an upgrade as well. That, I mean, it comes with one, but this one is a square one, about an extra 500, over 500 for the faucet. Looking at the cabinets upgrade, this one's gonna cost you around, I will say 4,000 to $5,000 for this aristocrat option, because also they upgraded to the 42 inch height. Uh, and uh, you can also add on top of that, some extra cabinets above to go all the way to the ceiling, which is going to be an extra upgrade, about an extra 4,000. So it can get expensive pretty quick in this kitchen. But if you don't have to do all those upgrades, uh, definitely that will save you a lot of money. As far as flooring, that's going to be the most expensive one that they're going to charge you. This house could go up to $80,000 in, in flooring if you, if you decide to do it with them, because we're talking about almost 5,000 square feet of a house. So, you know, they charge quite a bit for that. Your den option, it doesn't come with the door. You can have the door right here, but it's a good size den about, let's say uh, an 11 by 13. Yeah, great size. You can also turn this into a formal dining room. Not that you need it, because you got already a huge dining room on that side. But this uh, floor also offers on this side an extra powder room and some extra storage back here. The powder room is back here. It's gonna come with the pedestal sink, just like you see it. Including the base price, you don't get this flooring. You'll get a 13 by 13 tile in the kitchen. And actually, they're doing luxury, uh, I mean, vinyl sheets in all the wet areas other in the kitchen because they assume that people are probably not going to go with their design center to upgrade their, their flooring, which uh, causes them to, you know, allow people to put in a vinyl sheet because that's going to be demoed anyway. It's such a waste. What I love about this house is also how big this uh, staircase area is. Uh, all these uh, floors that have this uh, rest area and also all the windows that that it has so letting plenty of light into the house give it a nice modern look and this one definitely this is one of the most unique homes that they have available in the valley now this will be your third floor where you have all your bedrooms or your you know your primary bedroom although you do have a suite downstairs uh, primary bedroom another three over on that side but this would be the access to the rooftop deck which will end our video up there as we go over here to the left you'll find one two three bedrooms in the primary that we saw over there so first bedroom oh spacious now we do have eight foot ceilings in here but this is a big room I'm talking about 11 feet right there by about 17 on this wall got plenty of room in here you could easily easily fit a king size bed now this one also comes with its own bathroom and you also have right there your uh, walk-in shower. This is what uh, the Pidger Fina Quartz is a little bit of an upgrade, but this would be about a, that $5,000 upgrade package. Specifically, this one with the Pidger Fina Quartz, an extra thousand or so is going to add to it. And then the nice walk-in showers, I mean, walk-in closet, which is awesome. We go out to the second bedroom now. Very spacious too. About... 11 by 13 queen size bed in here you could probably fit a king in here too a little tight but you can definitely fit it and then you can see here that walk-in closet as well this will be your spare bathroom so that's going to be for this bedroom to the left that we just saw and the next one that we're going to see Two undermount sinks, the second sink, it comes with one, the second sink will cost you around $1,500. And then you can see here that um, the tub, it comes with a tub and shower combo. If you want to add this extra Pedro Fina Quartz, you can do that as well for an extra $1,000 or so. And then you have right here, the last bedroom, which is a good size, about 11 by 13 as well. But 
about the same as the other one. You can see a queen size bed here. It's plenty of room even to put a desk. So all these bedrooms are very good size. Your kids would not be unhappy about this, I'll tell you that. All right, and then laundry room upstairs on the third floor, which is awesome. The question is, once you go upstairs, do you have to bring all your clothes up from the first floor? If you have a suite down there, all the way up to the third floor, I'll probably add the laundry room down there too, if I were you. Depends on what you're gonna use it for, but definitely an option. And then we have right here the full, uh, you know, laundry room. We're probably looking around eight grand of upgrades in here, between 2,500 here, another 2,500 for, actually 4,000 for that. You know, 3,500 I think it was. And then 2,500 for the uppers, that's about six already. And then you can see here, washer and dryer, another 1500. Smart panel, we talked about this in all my other videos. And then uh, you have your primary bedroom, look at that. King size bed. Love the way they decorated this one. It's a huge bedroom with also a huge closet over here to the right. This one by itself could be its own bedroom. And you can see here, it's about six, 15 feet on that wall by approximately 22 on this wall. So definitely a great size room. Now, including the base price, you'll get that self-standing tub and the shower just like you see it. Now, the tile on there is gonna be different, but that would be the included option, which is nice. Then you have uh, two undermount sinks over here. Those are included as well. The thick glass is gonna be an extra $1,500 of an upgrade if you want the thick glass. This is 5 eighths of an inch, um, which is really nice. An extra window above your tub. Now, if you have another three-story next to you, you probably wanna put some kind of frosting on that window, but uh, depends if you, another window here in the toilet too, that's nice. And also we have here an extra linen closet. So this house has everything you need and more available because we are going to go up to probably one of the most characteristic things about this house, which is this rooftop deck, allowing you to get some beautiful city views, strip views, mountain views, everything you need. Also, this is a perfect spot for, you know, for your family to come hang out. You want to get a tan, come up here. And nobody can see you, you know, you're down there, you can do whatever you want. And you can see here the whole city. Now we do have a lot of uh, wires here, high tension wires throughout this, uh, uh, this area. However, depending on the lots, you can definitely be far away from them, which uh, some people care about it, some people don't. And then you have right there that full strip view. But beautiful option here in the southwest. You can see here, that's the south point. Just a few minutes away from here. And uh, let's talk about pricing here, guys. What are we at? Uh, we, we said when we first came in about $850,000. We're looking at incentives of, I would say, up to $50,000, $60,000 of incentives. Depending on how many upgrades you put in, you might get more incentives because they have that 20% off of all the design center options. Now that's only a limited time offer. I don't know how long that's gonna last. If you guys wanna get one of these homes, one of these deals, reach out to me as soon as possible so we can get you into one of them because they're gorgeous homes, but uh, they're gonna go quick, all these incentives. Because now we're, you know, during the holidays, a lot, a lot of builders need to get rid of some inventory. So that's why they're giving out those incentives. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop to me. All my information is down below in the description, or you can call me at 702-606-4815. Also for, um, for other videos of all the new builders out here in the Las Vegas Valley, subscribe to the channel. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you click on that bell down, down below uh, where you subscribe, you actually get notified when the, builder, when the YouTube uh, sees that my video is up, uh, uploaded. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you need a realtor to represent you, I'd love to earn your business and work for you to get you into the best deal possible here in the Valley for you and guide you throughout the whole process. A lot of people make a lot of mistakes when they buy a house and uh, they don't consider uh, some factors that 
go into buying and buying home like crime rates school districts and all that good stuff i'm the realtor that can guide you throughout this process and get you the best place so if that is the case for you and you need that realtor to help you all my info is down below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video